Alrighty, so now we're set for the front. Very much the same, not really, not really that different. All right, so once again, uh, 14 top and bottom. I didn't have any issues with the um, pins themselves moving while we slid them, so that's good. We'll have the V-clip on the inside. We got our new Nakimoto, or however. The, um, the little screecher goes on the back, like so. Thankfully, that's what the dust is for. Thankfully, it comes with new pins as well. Uh, one was missing on that side. So, uh, but anyway. We'll do the same thing. We'll clean up this hub area. That's all this paint here is. Oh, look at that. Gross. Just fell right out. Yeah. So anyways, we'll scrub this. Same old, same old. Alright, so let's get to it. Then we'll drive it around, pump up the brakes, see how it does. Remember, these are 32. There you go. All right, so, neighbor just went by. And thankfully, there's plenty of flex room where we can just slide this off. Oh, wow. <laughs> I'll put this up here and I'll show you how my new tool works. Wow, this one's pretty bad right here. That's been that's been rubbing. But um, yeah, there's supposed to be the spring clips right here, here, and that's not there. Wow, this one is shot. Wow, look at that. Yeesh. I'm really surprised at how well the rotors look for that. To tell you the truth, I really am. No joke on that. All right, so this one's got a little bit of life in it, but not much. There we go. Wow, that's rough. All right, so we'll go ahead and take some time, spray these, spray those. Some kits will come with these. Um, just some brake kits. Some um, will come with these new clips. Um, the ones I picked did not. Don't know, you know, good thing or bad thing, but they didn't. So that's the way it is. Yeah, for this particular kit with the brake clean instead of the uh, uh, super clean, you know, because it dries it instantly, so that works better. All right, so put the clip in. Some people recommend the um, put little anesthes or whatever under here too, and that does make sense, especially if you're in snow, because I've read where the um, the rust will bubble up underneath there. And so you'll start losing some movement for your caliper it'll just kind of stick which makes a lot of sense for if uh, you know low salt either because of winter or because of beach driving or you know etc right. that put in my head wow there we go Alright, so there's that. Um, we'll go ahead and check our pins while we're here. Actually, we can just load up the um, new Nakimoto brake pad. Okay. Okay. Yep. Uh, <laughs> I'm not sure what all that is. So, anyway, there's that. Go ahead and load our springs, and then we'll check our uh, caliper pins. Go from there. There you go. I guess that helps. I'm not sure exactly what these do to tell you the truth, but um, I can kind of see how I just can't explain it for the moment. But it does seem like it would help keep the calipers from sticking and encourage the slide back once you're uh, once you break and then help force the piston back in. That's my theory. So it does seem like that would work well. Let's check these. That one's nicely greased. We'll add a little bit more right here. But these look really, 
really good. So, I mean, it's kind of young, 2007. And by the way, from the little research that I did, it looks like the um, these basic brake systems were used from 05. Um, I think they changed a little bit, but it seems like 05 to um, I don't know, 12 or 15, something like that. I think so, but look it up. But it looks like pretty, uh, pretty large range of years, kind of like the Chevy truck. All right, here we go. There's that one. Upgrade a little bit with some grease, and this one looks pretty good as well. Go ahead and stick some more where it's kind of dry. Make sure it seals real well, and then just wipe off your excess grease. Lots of reasons. Um, if you have any reasons, let me know. But there's, I'm sure there's reasons why you would wipe the excess grease off. I'm just not having any. I'm just kidding. You would wipe them off because it's the right thing to do. Or something like that. Alright, so, now, we'll uh, use my new tool. So, the basic idea is you sit it in, like so. And you're able to ratchet it. Move you all up a little bit. Alright. How's that? Ooh, slow down. You can move in a little bit. So, that's basically it sets up. That's oh, interesting. Look at this um, control arm here. The, the steering pin. The way it works. That's interesting. So the Ford really kind of takes after that F-150 design is very similar, it's kind of interesting. Alright, so we got a light, so we can watch how this works, see okay, if it'll work. Still trying to figure it out, plus it's a cheap one, so. Alright, it pulls it in. Now, I think it's finally set. So, we can ratchet it in. Hopefully my hand's out of the way. Anyway, it's just kind of ratchet back. And we'll slowly start compressing it. I think about a quarter full. Cool. Oh, no, no. Not really stiff, but you got two pistons to pump gently. So we're going to try to take it back so the our cylinder is about or pistons about flush with the bushing. So we'll have enough room to clear the new brake pads. All right, it was pretty good. And then once you've gotten it where you like it. You flip this lever, then you can ratchet out just enough to uh, to move it. So now that that's done, let's see if I got enough to clear the new parts. I don't think so. No, no, really close. Really, really close. All right, so we need to go just a smidge more. Watch that brake line. See how it break it. Yep, there's Tanner Cranes again. Where they make a funny sound. Alright, so we'll press it a little more. We didn't need a whole lot, just a little bit. Like I said, just kind of need it flush with our, um, our bushing there. Or not bushing, it's not bushing, I'm sorry. Sleeve. Ah, I can't think of the word. I said it correctly, I'm Alright, let's see if that does it. Ah, what did I hit? 
Look at my head. Like there's fluid dripping. That's weird. I'm going to take a look and see what that is. Weird. Hope I didn't bust anything. Eh? Alright, so. Let's go and slide this on and figure out what in the world's dripping up there. It's definitely. Huh. Alright. Let's put one banana seed on both of our bolts. It's weird. What's that AC? Alright. Little. Little AC. Alright, gotta line it up just so. Be able to get it on the pin. You don't want to cross through these or mess up the threads. So just kind of be patient to nail it. You can kind of see. Ah, there, we there we go. Support it from the bottom and kind of stand it up. There we go. Alright, so there's that. Alright, now, before I go ahead, and this is one thing to think about when you're working on stuff, compared to, um, and this is something bad when I do, I get distracted, and uh, not a good thing to do, we're working on somebody else's vehicle, so the last thing you want to do is hurt somebody else, so it's very important to make sure you get your work done correctly, so we're going to go ahead and just complete this, I don't know what's leaking at the moment, it doesn't matter. What needs to be done correctly is make sure we've got this caliper bolt down, torqued down correctly, and uh, go from there. So that's what we're going to do first, and we'll figure out whatever is leaking later. All right, take a 14 again. I think let's check down. We got our pin bushings greased, bellows, both ends. We've got both these clips clean and anesthesized that compressed and I think that's everything so snug these up and then run our uh, run our uh, pork wrench be good to go uh, you know what might have been was the um, brake fluid the brake fluid might have over overbound there a little bit that might be what it is because of uh, how much we compressed it that might be what it is. It happened about the same time. I thought it was antifreeze, but it might have been the, uh, yeah, might have been brick wood. That would make sense. All right, yeah, fork it down. And this is 32. All right. This way, this is plenty of room. This is probably not the best way to be doing that. Okay, get that correctly. I think, if I remember correctly, I think I'm supposed to hold the hand. I don't want to get in the way of the camera, but again, it's not the support. You're getting this correct as the support. There we go. Alright. Good. All right, so we're there. That 32 comes fast, so just watch for it. We'll save this so we can torque all the all the parts down. Now let's go up here and figure out what to this mess. Alright, like that. Uh, oh, first, first we need to <clears throat> scrub this off. Hit it with some uh, um, PD blaster. Let's sit with banana seed everything. So we loosen the top of the um, brick wood. So we need to look at that. Tighten it back up. Pump up the brakes, see how they feel. 
and then we'll go drive around the neighborhood and get them set in. Let this sit in a little bit. Now we didn't have to uh, work on the rotors today. Alright, I'll come back to you in a minute.